Hey guys, how you doing today? It's your girl, Miss Debs. I'm coming to you from here in my kitchen. I'm coming from Deborah's Delicious Dishes. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised on this day and any other day, wouldn't you agree? Father God, I just want to thank you for breath in my body. I want to thank you for the blood that flows through my veins. I want to thank you for giving me a mindset to not want to be consumed of this world. I thank you for giving me a mind to want to be close to you, Father God, and put no one before you. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my loved ones. I thank you for my friends. I thank you for my YouTube family. I ask you to please stay entwined with my spirit, Father God. Let me know that you are all that I need. I thank you in your sweet heavenly name. Amen. Guys, today I'm going to be doing my session on daily strength for women. Let's get this started. I hope everyone is doing great. Hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. Let's get started. Get a sip. We're going to start off with. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's let's start off with stillness. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in Him. Dust settles on a chilly winter night. A gray fog hoovers and snow begins to fall. Cold, blustering snow. The kind that sticks. The snow keeps coming until you can barely see 100 feet in front of you. In the woods is quiet. All you can hear is the gentle wind. And all you can see is snow and trees. A pure white blanket of snow restores the earth. And as it falls, it restores you. Sometimes we have to go in, out we have sometimes we have to get outside of the noise and chaos of our own four walls. We have to step out into the snow or the sun or the breeze. We have to get alone, get silent and clear the clutter from our minds and hearts as we stand in God's natural sanctuary. There is so much power in the stillness of knowing God as you stand serene in the world he's created. The busyness of your life will always be there, but never forget to take the moment you can to stop and know your God. Do you find that the moment you spend with God helps you find refreshment and strength to take on whatever will come next? That was stillness, number one. Number two. Love bubbling over. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. This is number two. We do one, two, three for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Five-year-old Emma eyed the big tub in her mama's basement. Bathroom, I'm sorry. Mama had said Emma needed a bath. She hadn't mentioned a bubble bath, but Emma didn't think she'd mind. She turned the faucet on and dumped the whole bottle of bubble bath under the stream of water, the gallon-sized economy bottle. Her eyes got big as she saw the tub <clears throat> filling with bubbles. This was going to be awesome. Her mama didn't ever ha had this many bubbles before. Emma ran to get what she needed for her bath, but she was soon distracted. When she skipped back down the hall to to put to her parents' room. Her little jar dropped in, wait a minute. When she skipped back down the hall to put to her parents' room, her little jar dropped in shock. Bubbles were floating out of the bathroom into the bedroom and across the floor. Emma's overflow of bath water and bubbles definitely wasn't planned. But you know what? God wants us to have an overflow in our lives. He wants us to live so close to him that his sweetness wears off on us. And then he wants our love to increase and overflow into the lives of other, others. Why are you sometimes hesitant to tell others about Jesus? Does it make you anxious? And this is the last one, congregation. I will give thanks to the Lord. No, praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. 
God had a purpose to fulfill through the people of Israel. He intended this community of people to, people to be part of revealing his plan for humanity. They needed to reconnect with one another so they could be unified in their covenant with the one true God. There is a certain specialness to reuniting with our family and friends on those occasions. We can all be together in one place. When we are together with people who share the same values, stories, and even similar humor, it makes life feel more meaningful. Think about the community that you feel closest to and make an effort to get in touch today. God doesn't want us to do life alone. There's a strength and unity in the gathering of people who love one another. How can you connect with others so you can enjoy and encourage each other today? God bless you. May heaven smile down upon you. I hope this has been an enlightenment to someone. God bless.